Hey there, it's Margarita Alcantara of Alcantara Acupuncture and Healing Arts, activator for the new Code of Power. And I just wanted to hop on today because I wanted to give you a little quiz. Um, the reason being because I get a lot of questions um, about star seeds and about um, you know what it means and all that stuff. And um, I know that some people just really want to even just have an understanding of am I even a starseed myself, you know? And so I actually created this quiz um, because actually some people were asking me, you know, like, um, do you have a quiz or is there something I can check to kind of find out if I'm a starseed or not? And um, so I actually thought about it and I created a quiz. So um, I wanted to share it with you. Uh, so there are five questions to this quiz. You get to answer them with either a true or false. And, um, and of course, as you're uh, showing up, feel free to say hello and let me know that you're here. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and um, ask you my five question quiz. Um, because apparently, if you are hopping on right now, um, it is because there is a part of you that knows that you know, you've been questioning, you've been wondering, maybe you're not entirely sure. Um, and I've covered it on previous Facebook Lives in the past, but um, I thought it'd be really great to just bring it all, tie it all together here in a nice, neat package for you to kind of like really gauge this for yourself and really um, uh, get some answers, really. Because I mean, the truth is, is that um, when we have a, a knowledge of ourselves, then we are able to move forward um, in a more empowered way. So these are the five questions. So I, I actually wrote them down so I could stay on point. So, um, so the challenge to this quiz is, well, there's no challenge really, but just um, to take this quiz, go ahead and answer true or false to these questions. Um, so the first question is, or statement, should I say, is you've always looked up at the stars longingly and sometimes received downloads while doing so. True or false? Is that true or is that false for you? Question two. You have a feeling deep within you that you are here to serve a really big purpose, maybe even a special mission. Is that true or false for you? Question three, you feel like you don't belong on this planet, you know, um, and this is aside from the whole existential crisis that we might experience in as the human experience, right? Totally different. So true or false, um, you feel like you don't belong on this planet. Number four, question or statement four is, you are an empath, highly intuitive, and know that you have unique powers within you that are still untapped. True or false? And then the last question, number five, or the last comment here, um, is you easily connect into the higher spiritual realms and cosmic levels, but may find it difficult to feel completely grounded. So, yeah, true or false for that one as well. If you have responded true to at least two of those statements, you are likely a star seed. If you have answered true to three of those statements, then most likely you are a star seed. And you, if you've answered true to all of them, then most definitely you are a star seed. And so let me actually go a little deeper into what this all means, right? Like why, if you have said yes to all of these points, um, why that was the case. So the first one is, you know, always looking up at the stars longingly and sometimes receiving downloads. So star seeds often look up at the sky. And, um, you know, when we do this, particularly at night, you know, sometimes we do this in the daytime too, but usually it's when the stars are more visible. Um, and that's at night and when we can see them gleam up in the sky, right? So um, when we see the stars, um, we often feel very longing 
um, towards them. And we notice this even if we're not yet awakened into our starseed awareness, right? Um, the truth is that um, whether we're awake in it or we're not, we feel it. We feel that longing. We feel like, wow, I feel this connection. I can't explain it. Maybe if you're not awakened yet in your starseed power, you might be like, wow, you know, um, this is something that, uh, you know, I'm missing it for some reason. I'm like missing it as I look up into the stars, into the sky. I'm not quite sure why, but I do. And, um, and the reason is because that's where we originated, right? Star seeds are those, if you aren't familiar with that term, star seeds are those who originate and have roots in other star systems and purposely and intentionally incarnate on this planet in order to help awaken humanity, um, help elevate uh, the consciousness of the planet. Um, and they do this on purpose, right? Um, we do this on purpose. So, uh, you know, which is a very powerful thing. So, you know, that point one, statement one is all about our connection to feeling that as soon as we look up in the sky, right? We look up at the stars and we're like, wow, I really miss it, you know? And maybe if we're still not awakened yet, we're not sure, like, what am I even talking about, right? But but there's a missing, there is, um, you know, you just feel it, right? You just feel it. Um, and so it's not uncommon for star seeds to receive downloads as they do that. Um, in fact, one of my colleagues and friends, she, uh, you know, recently, you know, was called to wake up at around um, two thirty in the morning, um, which is very uncommon for her. And she was called to look out the window, and she saw the stars, and they were, you know, just beaming very brightly and shining very brightly, and she was just so called to it and so attracted to it and she started receiving downloads like instantly and so sometimes that does happen for star seeds where we'll actually receive downloads just spontaneously so um this is really really powerful uh to, to just know so that was statement one um so statement two um having a feeling deep within you that you are here to serve a really big purpose maybe even a special mission so um you know, and I, I've gotten this question to, you know, some people who don't really understand the whole um, starseed thing, they'll be like, well, everyone here has a purpose. And that is true. Everyone on this planet um, is here for a purpose. Starseeds, on the other hand, have a very specific, um, have a very specific calling. And actually, we each have a mission. Um, so we each hold a very big purpose. Um, and so even if we might have our unique personal mission, right? Like we each have something to do, but the goal is still the same. The goal is to ultimately help to awaken humanity. It is to help, um, you know, help the planet vibrate more highly and raise the consciousness of the planet. Um, so there's that, there's that thing that's going on is that star seeds if you are not yet awakened into um, being a starseed in the, in the first place, <clears throat> you will actually feel this, um, like, I know I'm meant for bigger things. I'm just not quite sure what it is. I can't put my finger on it. I can't explain it, but I, I just know it, right? And that's because you do. That's because you do have a mission, a very strong mission, a very strong purpose on this planet. And um, and I'm going to be answering uh, some questions um, in a moment. Um, okay. So, uh, but before I do, I'm going to finish with these other statements and really help you get a better understanding of, of what this is about. So the next statement, which is statement three, you feel like you don't belong on this planet. So, um, and this is, again, apart from any existential crisis that you may be having as a human being on this planet as well, right? Because we're all in human form on this planet, at least the majority of us, at least some of us, right? Um, but if you're a starseed, um, you actually um, have this feeling uh, that you don't belong here. Um, and that's because we originated from other star systems. And so there's that awareness and that understanding and knowledge within ourselves. Um, and so, let me see. 
Yeah. And, you know, so even when we are in communities that are very, um, where we feel very integral in these communities, we can even feel a little bit like an outsider then, you know, um, and that's completely normal. Um, and that truth is because we really feel um, that difference of, wow, you know, I kind of feel like I don't belong here. And, um, and I'm not quite sure why. And then when you awaken into your starseed awareness, then you actually, you're like, oh, well, I know why, because I actually, you know, my roots didn't belong or didn't originate from here. And, and now I'm here because I intended to show up on this planet at this time in order to do some work and be of service. Um, statement four, you are an empath, highly intuitive, and know you are, um, and know that there are unique powers within you that are still untapped. So um, there are a lot of empathic people in the world. Um, star seeds, pretty much almost 100% of star seeds, I would dare say all star seeds, um, are highly intuitive, are empaths. Um, and this is different from being empathic because when you're empathic, you feel for others. Um, but when you're an empath, you feel their feelings. Um, sometimes you might feel it as if they're yours. And if you're not a strong empath who has healthy energy boundaries, you will um, identify it as being yours as well when they're not. Um, so then you get to do the work around uh, being a strong empath and having healthy energy boundaries. Um, but uh, star seeds definitely um, also have kind of the genetic disposition to you know um, to access these. Uh, these energies and feel these energies very quickly and very succinctly. And this is because um, our origins are from um, other star systems and most other star systems are actually at a higher vibration than planet Earth. Um, and because of that, we have, um, uh, you know, we, we have come on this planet with that energy intact and with that sensitivity intact and sometimes you know it, it becomes more of a an understanding and a need of um you know like developing these things because sometimes we forget right like if we're really stuck in our human consciousness and really stuck in any fears um we may not be accessing our power as um powerfully as we can as we can um, so that's when we get to do that internal work to really um, blast all those fears away and really uh, be in our starseed power um, and because we are empaths and highly intuitive you will often find starseeds in the healing arts um, as a profession um, usually that's what you will you will notice and then for the last comment, the last statement, you easily connect into the higher spiritual realms and cosmic levels, but may find it difficult to feel completely grounded. So um, star seeds can more easily access the higher spiritual chakras, which are the, the crown, the third eye, the throat chakra, um, and even the heart chakra, which is actually considered more of the bridge between the spiritual and, and physical chakras. Um, so it's very easy for, for us to access and, you know, tap into the cosmos. Um, the truth is, is that, um, you know, for starseeds who, you know, like are, first of all, not aware of them being starseeds, or they are aware of being star seeds but they're not completely in their power um, their physical chakras will not be as balanced so the physical chakras are those lower chakras that are the root chakra the sacral plexus chakra the solar plexus chakra and then also that sometimes includes the heart as well because again the heart chakra bridges the gap between the spiritual and the physical chakras between the upper and the lower um, and so sometimes we can feel that block in the heart too, even if we're star seeds, because if we have, if we're holding on to some deep fears um, that are linked to the spiritual chakras or any other chakra there, you know, for that matter, um, that can definitely be affected in the heart, you know, which means that we will often not be in touch with our heart, our hearts may be closed down, um, that kind of thing. However, 
if you are in your starseed power, your spiritual chakras are balanced with the lower physical chakras, which means, and that looks like, you know, you're able to tap into the frequency of the cosmos uh, and be all, you know, like out there in the ether with the universe, with your star family and all that goodness. Um, and you are able to be fully embodied and anchored into Mother Gaia into the planet, really feeling grounded, feeling supported by the earth, feeling really anchored into your purpose in the world and performing that purpose in the world and making a lot of healthy income and abundance um, with that as well. And also really feeling embodied, you know, feeling really embodied in your physical self, um, which is partially root and sacral plexus chakra. Sacral plexus chakra is where you're also able to be in touch with your your sensuality which is very much tied to your physical being and um, so if that is something that's not yet um, fully actualized in your system then that's something that needs to be balanced in you um, and also the solar plexus chakra the solar plexus chakra is that um, chakra that's about two inches above the navel and it is our power center and so um, obviously when you're in your power um, as a star seed or otherwise you are really feeling that connection with your power and your light and you move forward in power right and I'm not talking about the old version or old paradigm of power where you know you're manipulating people and you're being greedy and you're not serving mankind and you're not showing up in your truth um, those kind of things that's not power that's called artificial power so there's a difference um, but when you're truly in your power um, what I would call your true power or for star seeds your star seed power that means that you are feeling um, powerful you are able to speak your truth as a star seed speak truth about your mission show up on your mission move forward in your mission um, and having no qualms with saying hey I'm here you know um, I'm you know I'm here I'm here to serve I'm ready to do what I need to do I'm here to do what it takes and I'm ready to do what it takes that is a star seed who's in their power and if they're embodied that means that they're also physically you know um, in touch with their optimal health um, on a very physical level um, because as you've heard me say uh, before there are some star seeds out there um, who are not yet fully embodied in their power and so sometimes they have that um, Thing where they're trying to run away or trying to go back to their star system or, or uh, you know, back to their, their star. And um, the truth is, is that when you take ownership of the fact that you chose to intentionally incarnate on this planet to provide a really big service to this planet and you show up in the world and you're like, here I am, I'm a star seed on mission and you're showing up on mission and you're doing whatever it takes in order for people to, um, to hear your truth uh, and serving the world, serving humanity, serving the planet, um, that's when you're, you're, you're on it, right? So I hope that was really of service to you and um, because I know that this is something that has been really coming up for a lot of people. And um, in the meantime, I see that I've gotten some comments here. Kala Henry, hello there. Welcome, welcome. Felicia's here, Melinda Dixon, April, Martha, hello. And um, a lot of folks on Instagram as well saying hello, hello, everybody. Um, so I was just giving a, a starseed quiz and um, seeing how you did. So if you missed it, it was pretty quick. Um, there's only five questions, you know, it's a quiz, not, a, not like a SAT or something. But um, check it out and see if it's something that you resonate with and see how much of it um, is your truth because, um, and I, I see that Kala was with me like from the beginning and was saying true, 
that's true, <laughs> true, true, true. And so, um, and then I spoke into all of it, uh, all of the, all of those statements and as to why they are feeling true for you. Um, Kala says, I know there's something huge I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah. And so, um, and then Kala continues to say, but I cannot get the meditation down. And so um, meditation is a really powerful tool for this, the uh, crown chakra. If you want to awaken your crown chakra um, and really get it in tune, and also if you're a star seed to really get in touch with your star family, um, you do need to get into some kind of stillness practice. Um, for a lot of folks, it is meditation. Meditation can take a lot of different forms. Um, so, you know, maybe Kala, I'm wondering if maybe uh, you've just not found your type of meditation that resonates with you, because um, that's entirely possible. So, um, you know, because some, some people um, really resonate with just, you know, kind of being in stillness and just like going in, right? Um, I've come to get to that point because uh, I did not start off that way. I started off with guided meditations because I had major monkey mind. Um, and monkey mind is a thing when you are meditating um, because uh, they they actually call it monkey mind for a reason because it's like your mind just wants to play and likes to go elsewhere and likes to travel and do other things and likes to think about your grocery shopping or what you need to make for dinner. Um, and that's not, you know, you being in your power or stepping up really. It's just you being busy. Um, but that is the whole reason why meditation is called practice um, because you're literally practicing it. So um, I'm wondering, Kala, if maybe there's a different kind of meditation that might serve you. Um, maybe the way you've been going about it may not be the one that you resonate with the most. So other things you could try, guided meditations, um, solfeggio frequencies, binaural beats, um, things like that. So I hope that helps. Martha, hello there. This morning I was shown that I am a star being. I haven't been specifically shown or told that I'm a star C. Do you think do you have any sense of the difference or do you think it matters? Great question, Martha. And I'm, I'm actually glad that you asked this because um, there's, it's, it's interesting because there are different names that come forward, right? Star seed, star being, um, star child, you know, those are um, the ones that most people use. And, um, you know, I just use star seed because it's just like more simple to say, star seed then like including the whole entire umbrella right um so that's just me like for simplicity's sake um just as i will say you know you know i'm a healer like technically i'm not the one who does the healing the patient the client is the one who's doing the healing they are the one we all heal ourselves yet i do say you know healer because um that keeps things simple and it helps uh, people understand, right? So that's what I mean by that. Um, so I guess the answer to your question, Martha, is that actually um, it doesn't really matter. You know, we come from the stars. That's it. Done. <laughs> you know, so um, if we want to call ourselves a star seed, you know, go right ahead. If you'd, if you'd rather say you're a star being, then go right ahead. If you'd rather say you're a star child, then go right ahead. You know, it's it's really um, all semantics. And um, I know some people like to, to get this, into the semantics, but when um, we stay in the semantics, we're actually, you know, getting a little diverted from what we should be focusing on. So it really doesn't matter. But great question, Martha. That's, um, that's something I've been actually meaning to speak into. So I appreciate that question. Kala says, but I get tons of random messages along with my intuition. Yeah, so what that tells me, Kala, is that um, you actually um, have a very strong intuition, as all star seeds do, um, but you might be a little bit in your head, which some star seeds um, can be. Uh, sometimes when we're not when we're not fully in our power as star seeds, we get really caught up in things are supposed to look a certain way. Things are supposed to be a certain way. If I'm really powerful, it's supposed to look like X Y Z. If I'm uh, really speaking my truth, it sounds like this, right? Like we have a very preconceived notion, so that it becomes a very strict, rigid um, way of you know how we're supposed to show up in the world, right? But the, the truth is 
the only way, the only thing that you need to be concerned about is, are you showing up on mission? Are you being in service? And, and that's, that's what it comes down to, right? And if you are, then great. Um, but if you are um, not, and you're thinking like, am I in my mission? Am I, am I doing this? Am I doing this right? And, and all this stuff. And, and when it becomes more of anything that is distracting you, or, you know, for a lot of star seeds, it can be that fear, right, that comes up. And, you know, I've talked about this many times around the different kinds of fears star seeds have. Um, and maybe that's the subject for another Facebook Live. Um, but the truth is, is that when you are um, really showing up in your power, what it looks like doesn't matter. Like it literally doesn't matter. Um, and I can say that because I began as being very much in my head. I was one of those star seeds who, who was like, but it needs to look like this. And if I do this, then I should do it this way. And, and I was very like, you know, with the blinders on, right? But the truth is the only time we really need to have our blinders on is when we are showing up in service, you know, um, so that we are segueing past the distractions, past the static, past the fears and everything that wants to derail us, right? Because we will get derailed. We will, um, you know, uh, receive distractions uh, when we are showing up as starseeds. So um, it's our job um, and our responsibility to, you know, unplug from all of that, to see it for the illusion that it is, so that you can focus on what you are meant to be doing. So I really hope that helps everyone. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, um, I can stay on for a few moments longer. Um, but I hope you enjoyed that quiz. Um, and I hope that the uh, extrapolation of those points uh, were helpful for you. And does this resonate for you? Let me know in the comments below. Say yes if this resonates for you. Um, and uh, let me know if you have any questions. I would love to um, help out here. So let me know. Um, and if you are wanting to be more embodied in your starseed power and um, you really want to uh, receive some assistance on that, you know, I recommend that you book a call with me so that um, you can let me know what are your needs as a starseed that you are meant to embody on this planet. I mean, I would especially love to know what your mission is and what your vision is as a starseed, um, because I would love to be of service to helping you be on mission um, and be on in your power on mission um, and and see what I can do to be of service uh, to your vision. So um, do uh, book your call with me. I will uh, put uh, the link here below. Um, so when you are ready to really understand your power and to be activated into it so that you can be the powerful supernova star seed that you are meant to be and that you really are. Um, but maybe, you know, you, may, you might need some assistance with radiating that frequency and elevating into that knowing um, for yourself. So if that's the case, I would love to be of assistance. Um, and I'll put the link here in just a moment. Um, but I see there are no additional questions. Um, so I am going to leave this here. Uh, I hope that was of service to you. I hope you enjoyed the quiz and I hope it resonated for you. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them here in the comments below. Anyways, I do see them. I do see the alerts on my, uh, Facebook lives and I will answer them. So, um, go ahead and put them down below and I will, I will answer your questions. In the meantime, have a wonderful evening or morning, depending on where you're hailing from. And um, I hope to see you very soon. Um, and the next Mother Gaia Power Portal is not going to be next week, since that is the fifth week of the month. But I will be um, hopping onto Facebook Live otherwise. And the next Mother Gaia Power Portal is going to be on May 6th, Monday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I invite you to join me there. In the meantime, I will be hopping on to Facebook Live and Instagram Live as well. And um, have a great weekend, everybody, or a great rest of the week 
because it's only Wednesday. So have a great hump day. Have a great rest of the week. Much love, light, and power to you.